Hey there everyone, welcome back to another vintage side parted hair tutorial. Today we'll be taking a look at Clark Gable's executive contour, which was very tight, extremely slick, and super shiny, just like a lot of the golden era Hollywood actors. What I find really unique about Clark Gable's contour is that it looked pretty much different compared to other contours. You have men like Don Draper of Mad Men and Cary Grant. They comb the top of their contours in a side swept motion while the front had either waves or a little bump to them. The top of Clark Gable's hair, however, had a different emphasis to it altogether. It was in a backwards kind of motion, being swept diagonally instead. And the sides of his hair, just like most other classic contours, were swept backwards. This is why I see Clark Gable's contour as being some kind of slick back with a side part. It's very simple. There's not much to it, and it looks very timeless and classic, and that's exactly what I'll be showing you how to do today. Alright, my hair is pretty damp right now, as it always should be before you apply your products. And just like in my previous tutorial, the one with the Cary Grant hairstyle, I'm going to apply my tonic right over here, because this gives me a lot of control, and it enables my short Asian hair to be slicked all the way back. And that's exactly what we want if we're doing this Cary Grant, I'm sorry, Clark Gable hairstyle. So, I forgot to show you earlier, just drop, um, put two drops or three of some hair tonic in your hair, rub it in and just rub it all over your hair, apply it through your hair evenly. Massage it all around. You might want to take a bit more, maybe two more for your back and sides. I personally wouldn't use more than five drops for this. And you really got to emphasize on your sides as well because you tend to be more poofy than the top of your hair. I'll take my one last drop. And apply it all around. Okay, and so right after you do that, you begin to take your comb and slick everything back. This will ensure the even distribution of the tonic around the hair. Every time you apply your product, after one layer of product, always slick it back to ensure distribution all around the hair. Right now my hair is actually staying put because I have some buildup of goon grease right over there, but hey, this is not a pomade review when I should, when my hair should be degreased or free of any other product other than the pomade I'm using, but because this is a, this is a tutorial, I don't care if I've built up my hair, it's just a, I'm just showing you how to do a hairstyle, not the hold of a particular pomade, so build up or not, it doesn't matter as long as I show you what to use and how to achieve this hairstyle. So, ignore the build of my hair. So, assuming I have nothing in there, just dampen your hair first, apply some tonic, and then spread it all around the hair. And then this is when you put your first pomade, your heavy holding pomade, what you use as a base product. So, today I'll be using some Murray's Black Beeswax. I'll be doing a review of it anytime soon, maybe around the next week or two, I guess. So you take a generous amount of product. You might want to not want to take too much. And for the record, the Murray's beeswax comes in two colors. You have your um, yellow, yellowish white beeswax, your um, conventional beeswax, I'm sorry, my camera's out of focus, and you have your um, black beeswax. If you got black hair like me, then the black beeswax would be a much better option for you. It just really um, highlights the color of your hair. So you take your product and apply it around as usual. I wouldn't use any more than two scoops of my heavy pomade. I take one more scoop 
of my base product. Rub it all around. Now because this stuff is really black, it makes my hands black as well. So I just gotta wash them off my hands for a really quick while. Okay, so I'm back, and after you apply your heavy product, you slick your hair back, as usual, to ensure the distribution of product all around your hair, just as I mentioned earlier. And finally, right after, you generously um, spread around all of the base product around your hair. The next important step, you gotta listen to stuff if you really want to get that vintage 1930s Clark Gable vibe. Because, just like most other Golden Age Hollywood actors, Cary Grant had really shiny hair. And this is when we add our top coat. So for today, our top coat, I'll be using Murray's Excellente. Actually, this is the, um, re the reissue by Murray's which is um, pretty much the original Excellento, not the purple Murray's version, but I did a review on this very recently, and you can go check it out. I put a link below in the description. So, this is something I mentioned in my Cary Grant tutorial, but I'll just say it for those of you who missed it. For your top coat, it has to be a very shiny product and a light hold as well. So you can either use a light pomade or hair dressing or a tonic, but your tonic has to be an oil-based one and it has to be shiny as well. But assuming you don't have a shiny tonic and that the tonic you use doesn't do anything but just soften your hair, let us use a hair dressing or a light pomade. This is called a Brilliant Time for the record. And basically a Brilliant Time is a very shiny pomade or hair dressing. So I'm just going to go ahead and scoop it out. You can use one huge finger dial like this, or if you want a lot more shine, you can just use two, but don't use too much or else it'll soften your pomade. Okay, so now when we apply the light product for your top coat, unlike your previous products, which you apply by running through your hair, you take this one and run it over your hair like this just over it because this will ensure the um, maximum shine at the surface of your hair and you don't want to soften your pomade anymore and the more you run it through your hair the more pomade gets through um, the other heavy product so it breaks it down a little take one more tiny dab right there And right after you apply everything, right now we have all the products we need. We had our tonic to relax and soften our hair for easier styling and to ensure that we have um, hair that's able to slick all the way back and we have our heavier base product and we have our lighter shiny product. We have everything in our hair. So we go ahead and slick that back again, just like always after applying the product. And this is when you form your part. Your part can either be um, left or right. It depends on where your natural part is. It doesn't actually matter. For me personally, my natural part is on the left of my head. For those of you who have been um, watching 
my videos for some time already, you would already know this. And for the record, Clark Gable's part was, um, he had a side part, but it was quite near the center, so it's got to be somewhere between the center and the side, not too below to the sides. It, it's um, a pretty high part. And you might want to align that part to um, at least this area of your eyebrow, where it just starts to um, loop over. That's where you want to align your part to be at least in that area or a little higher if you want it. So you form your part right there. I'll repeat that. You slick it back. You take your part, which is pretty near um, the center, be left or right, but it must be near center and between the sides, between the sides and the center. And then you take one of these comb lines. You can use your hands to spread it out a little bit to make it easier. You put your comb between there and just slick everything away from it. And you'll have a nice clean part just like Clark Gable did. Now slick your sides to the back. And you'd begin to observe that your sides are very well slicked and tight. Just take a look at this. Now, Clark Gable's contour is pretty much different because it is, to me, most contours are sort of like um, side comb, um, so are just like um, comb to the sides and the front has a little wave or a bump. However, um, Clark Gable's contour is pretty unique because it's more like a slick back with a side part. So, that means for the top of your hair, you just start over here, you start at the front and you slick everything diagonally. Not to the sides, not too much to the back, but you want it somewhere between the back and the side. So diagonal would be good action, would be a good um, position, a good compromise for that. So just look at here diagonally, just like that. Nice and easy. It's a very simple hairstyle. So basically, that's all there is to it. It's a very simple hairstyle. Clark Gable's contour is essentially just a slick back with a side part. It's not like other contours where they're combed to the sides. So just comb the top of your hair diagonally. This actually used to be my go-to hairstyle back when I was in high school. I have much longer hair than this. On most, most days, I did this Clark Gable contour. And on Fridays, I would go for a pompadour. So that is all there is to it. It's a very, very simple style. It's extremely, um, it gives you that very professional, slick look. Doesn't really need much maintenance as compared to, say, a pompadour. And you look very mature with this. So, I'll show you how my hair looks. Slick back sides. A very straight clean part, which is pretty near to the center. It's not too low, but it's not too high either. But it's higher compared to most other side parts. I'm sorry, my camera's out of focus. Again, there we go. Top. It's kind of slick to the back, but it's more of a diagonal action. And I forgot to mention that you're supposed to comb the back of your head downwards, like this. It's a very simple hairstyle, it's not that hard. But if you got springy Asian hair, that's the purpose of using our tonic. It just makes everything much easier to manage. So, if you like this tutorial, go give it a like, comment on it, subscribe to my channel, go check out my other tutorials, and pop me reviews. If you have any requests, go drop it below in the comment section. And so, I'll see you in my next video.